All right, here we go. On the left-hand side is a 3D placard that has two clickable buttons that sound like this. And on the right-hand side is a score that sounds just like it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing a New Realms, Episode 25, Historical Poisonous Aspire. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting we are in big brainstorming mode, working on our composing exhibit. Uh, highlights of today, we continued experimenting with our World Systems score. We updated World Systems 8, made a recording for QA and posted... We made an animation with another idea and rendered for QA and posted. And we ended up making a, a composite post that looks like this. Composing a cross-dimensional thinking and online presence, world systems theory slash world history and social change. So this part here, uh, we worked on in a previous episode where it's a summary of what is the idea of world systems theory, the world empire, the world economy, which is what we're in right now. And then we had four, count them, four different scores that we made animations for. And the most recent one that we said was uh, world systems eight, which is this one. So they're all up on YouTube now and on our WordPress blog. So we got that done. Now, are we done with world systems? Well, we said not exactly because somehow we think it's segued into our composing exhibit. Speaking of our composing exhibit, we resumed building our Second Life 20th birthday composing exhibit and began streaming on YouTube, which is what we're doing right now. And I just realized we don't know how to make a highlight out of that just yet. But I guess we'll be learning how to do that. Um, we continued researching music example URLs, past and new, traditional Japanese, for example. And we made an exhibit footprint. Here, here is a picture that we took on one of our walks of some flagstones. And what we did is we turned that into a usable... Uh, footprint. And by footprint, we mean the, the, the base of our exhibit. So uh, we also drew lines on it. Uh, and then we are using this as our updated idea for the floor plan. I guess floor plan is another good word. So here's what that floor plan looks like in Second Life. Uh, what we like about it is it has a 3D looking effect. We can walk around in it. The entry will be up here. And then now, and that's where, that's as far as we've gotten. So we were proud that we made our first uploaded content, which is this uh, fine versus broad structure, which has clickable um, things on it. We had to mute it, right? The, these are 29 second, uh, versions of this. And what we're trying to demonstrate here is there, you can have a, a, a fine structure that has a lot of variation and you can have a, a, a broad structure that has very little. So the, the piece goes like this. That's just a straight F without change. And then this is a melody. And the trumpets are red. And then there's a another synthesizer in blue on top. And we don't know how to turn this off, so except to do that. So these are 29 second. And what we did that was a tweak was this one just shows everything at once, which is the concept, although you can still click it and play it. And then this shows it in a more traditional point of view where the music is scrolling by the masked window. 
So another thing that we did is we thought, well, we know how to make simple, you know, you know flat things and, and spherical things. But if we wanted to do something complex in uh, a complex shape, well, there is a tool for that called the Blender. So, but it doesn't do us any good if we can't upload it in a second life. So we downloaded the Blender. It's free. And then we, it comes with the default cube. So we uploaded the default cube and it worked. There it is. But, but we could have just built that in Second Life. So we, as a test case, we knew that there was something called the Digital Emily. Digital Emily. And um, we figure out where that was again. And then that's Digital Emily. It's a, that's a scan of a real person. Looks like that. And it's a much more complex object. So we fiddled it around until we successfully uploaded Digital Emily. Now, if you want to see the difference here in wireframe, this is the difference. Uh, here's the top of the cube, barely visible. It just looks like two triangles. And the rest of it is kind of invisible unless you look. But, because that's all it took. It took two triangles and then... but. Digital Emily is a lot more than that. All of these little meshy triangles it takes to make a smooth object like that. So um, the difference is that uploading a model like this is what they call 10 linen dollars, which is about four cents. Uh, uploading a model like this, it it's it's uh, 40 cents, so it counts as 10 times more complicated uh, mesh. Now, there's more things we could, I mean, that, that's as much, as much as we know right now, guys. It costs 10 times as much to upload something like that. This begs the question, can we build something on our own in Blender besides a, uh, oh, look at, oh, it comes with eyes. We forgot, that's why we forgot to upload the eyes. Or did we? A lot of little bits and pieces there. So, uh, oh my God, there's even eyelashes. No, those are cameras. So we messed with Blender a long time ago, but we never, um, we kind of halted there. Doing Emily was the last thing we did. And we, just to prove it, see, there's a... Uh, we 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 turned it into a screen a cool screen cover when we did it. So is that it? Well, I guess what we'll do is um, we'll close as ever by playing this wonderful composition. The way that we got this composition was literally we we uh, digitized we digitized. This was a drawing that we had from seven months ago and what we did is we overlaid circles on it and a staff and we hadn't planned to turn it into a score but we did on the spur of the moment so this is how it came out Now, what we totally forgot to do was point out that it comes with the broad part. So let's play that again with the bottom. like about it is we took something from seven months ago that was a visual concept and then for the composing exhibit ended up uh, re-expressing it as a as an aural concept and, and then uh, in in keeping with the spirit of the exhibit turned it into something that people can 
play with and play the just the bottom and the top or play them together. So our ideas for next time are to continue with the composing exhibit. Uh, we'd like to turn that that fine, that broad versus fine into a, a 3D. What 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 would this exhibit look like in 3D? And and we've taken a few shots and ideas at it, but um, and then also is there a way to we kind of revisited our working with scripts and we modified it to play things softer. Is there a way to have an off on button? And we are going to continue streaming on YouTube. Uh, shout outs to Silent Lurker, historical reenactor, the new Silent Lurker, because we're now on YouTube. And then uh, it's Pumpkin Nia came by and poked us on YouTube. So you are our first ever YouTube chat. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.